I'll just start off by first of all uh, just apologising to our supporters for uh, the effort that was produced today. Uh, <coughs> we're going to delve real deep into uh, psyche of our club and uh, understand why we produce these kind of results. So, uh, you know, I'm not quite sure what the crowd was, but felt like there was a few out there for us. So, uh, you know, to our supporters and sponsors who are listening, we apologise for that and um, we'll keep delving away to try and produce a, uh, a 22 that want to compete on a weekly basis. Amy Charlotte said that that loss made you a laughingstock of the competition. Do you agree with that at this point? Yeah, for sure. What was your message to the players after this? Uh, this competition's uh, very, very difficult. It's uh, the top competition we have. And uh, if you actually want to be good and competitive and consistent, uh, you need to be stay involved in games, be involved in them, uh, have a want to just keep performing minute after minute, quarter after quarter and week after week and uh, at the moment we don't have a total 22 of doing that for whatever reason um, and uh, until we actually want to sort that out and understand why uh, we won't be the team that we want to be. So what, does it, what does it do for the reputation of footy club managing, especially given that there was a fair bit of criticism out of Melbourne in particular that you can only get up for the show uh, Look, it, it doesn't do a great deal for the club, you know, the... Uh, our uh, non-football staff have done an amazing amount of work and an amazing amount of great work for us, um, you know, along with our board and stuff. And uh, you know, to actually uh, get some positive news behind the club, and uh, you know, we haven't upheld our bar end of the bargain. So it uh, doesn't do wonders for the for the, uh, the morale of the club and uh, and the brand at all. But uh, you know, we've had a, a brand that hasn't been well thought of for a couple of years now, and. Uh, you know, we're going to sort our way through it until we can uh, come out with a group of players and a uh, football department that uh, starts to work on that and improve that. But that's going to take some time. You only take small steps and took a tiny step forward last week and taken five back today. Even though you're up at several, well, for the majority of the game, were there a couple of signs in your opinion where you sort of thought just the intensity was lacking a bit here? Oh, look, you know... We uh, we knew they were a pretty good contested team, and uh, you know they were up against up on us all day on that area. And uh, you know, you know, with a minute to go, you know, it was 91 to 51, I think, in the third quarter. And uh, instead of just killing the game, we still wanted to play around with the ball and gave them two goals, and that brought it back to whatever it was. But you know, it was still comfortably up, um, and we just couldn't dig in, and just got steamrolled by Ablett and Rizzatelli and Brennan and Swallow and and their rucks. Matt, who makes the decision to ice the game or to continue on with it at that point when you're 40 points up? Uh, uh, some of the leaders do, and it also comes from the coaches' box at different times. So, was, that, was that a message that you gave out there to try and slow the game down a bit? Yeah. Point? Yeah. Is that the bit that hurts the most, that you were in control, that you didn't finish it off like you'd expect good sides to do? Uh, yeah, look, we, we want to be a good side. We're a long way from that at the moment, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, as you said, we, we're in control of the game, even though some statistics were pointing not to. I thought you know we're still in control, scoreboard-wise and possession-wise. But uh, you know we just had no answer for them in the last quarter. Goal Coast big issue this year. Prior to today, has been kicking goals in red time and really running out quarters. And obviously, it didn't happen for you in the end. How disappointing was that? Is fitness an issue? Oh, look, I don't think fitness is, not when you produce what we did last week and, um, you know, we, we look like we're running on top of the ground, but no doubt uh, we didn't look like we're running on the top of the ground at the end of the game and either the day, but, uh, you know, we, we were over them, um, you know, red time and, you know, during the match, just the whole last quarter we were right up against it and you could smell it pretty early on. Matt, to apologise to supporters as you did, I think, pretty unusual. What's what sort of driven that? Oh, look, they, they, they support us in thick and thin, you know, our membership's up, uh, sponsorship and all that kind of stuff's up for the club um, because of the, the amount of good work other people have done for us and uh, as I keep saying, we've got to uphold our end of the bargain we haven't done that today, so, uh, you know, I'm sure as, um, as uh, disappointed in the stomach, the pit of the stomach that we are at the moment, I'm sure they are as too, and uh, you know, it doesn't make for a good week, but uh, that's the bear we've made. We've got to line it and do something about it. What's the situation with Dean Brown? Uh, he was just pulled up sore after training yesterday, so uh, he had no idea. We'll see how he goes during the week, and uh, you know, if he's sore next week, he won't play. How close was he today? 
Uh, and the further away than what he was yesterday, so he was a, and no chance to play today. Is it just a soreness issue? Yeah, yeah, he was just put up very sore from training half hour yesterday. How much do you think you missed him today? Oh, look, their their rucks were okay. Oh, sorry, their rucks were their rucks were pretty good. Um, you know, but I thought we were able to manage it okay for three quarters, but we got opened up in the last quarter. But you know, I've. Plenty of times we've dominated the rucks and lost stoppages or lost clearances, so it uh, has a tiny impact, but not the impact that it did today. You know, and credit to uh, the Gold Coast, you know, they've been building every week and, uh, uh, you know, they should have been building for one or two quarters, not a half, but uh, you know, they certainly uh, wanted the game and believed in it for the whole, whole period, even though they were behind, and uh, that's what got them over the line. Is this the lowest point, maybe the most challenging point of your career, brief career? Yeah, very brief. So, yeah, it, it is. It's a challenge for all of us. So, it's, um, you know, get the uh, hands dirty and, uh, you know, get on with next week. But, uh, as I said, it's going to be a pretty embarrassing week for us. Got a couple of experienced players waiting in the wings. Are they any closer to selection given this result? Uh, yeah, they, they probably are, yeah. Um, uh, I'm not quite sure how Kane went today, but um, you know we've got a couple of players coming back in, and uh, we'll see how many people are sore today. But uh, yeah, we're going to keep throwing around our 22 and, and finding out why we're not competitive week in week out. What more do those guys need to do to get back in, man? Ah, uh, we'll see how their performances were from the weekend, and uh, you know have a look at uh, how, how we're pulled up to. The main thing. And is Jay Schultz a sniff at all? Uh, not that I can gather, no, I think it's still a few weeks away.